and you, you, you can see it here. Yeah. So, so today I'm going to show you um, what a bench is. So bench, the agonist muscle groups, mm -hmm. right? They're the pecs. Mm -hmm. This this is known for uh, humeral adduction, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think it's that yeah the adduction. Mm -hmm. um, this motion. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, elbow extension, All right. which is going to work the triceps. Oh. So the agonist for the bench is mm -hmm. the medial, medial. delt, right. the front delt, like uh -huh. I told you before, uh -huh. and then the pecs, pecs, and then the triceps. triceps. Now the antagonist muscle groups, which mm -hmm. work against it, mm -hmm. right, that kind of work to kind of like stabilize it kind of a little bit, mm -hmm. is more of is the biceps right. um, and the back. Right. So. Those what so those group muscle groups together mm -hmm. are like kind of like moving together and also like of course you have the core um, when you do your bench you mm -hmm. have the core kind of stabilizing right. a little bit so yeah and the, the bench is the more the most popular mm -hmm. um, exercises mm -hmm. that people do right because it's the main upper body mm -hmm. lift you know right. you have the squat mm -hmm. bench and deadlift yeah. right mm -hmm. the, the bench is primarily for uh, increasing upper body mass mm -hmm. um, and specifically for pu pushing movements pushing or yeah so pushing, pushing movements that's why it's um it's uh yeah so it, it mainly develops the upper body all right um you have any questions oh uh, no all right so what we have here mm -hmm. is we have the safety racks here right. just to make sure that everything mm -hmm. is safe because sometimes right. if you try to do the bench by yourself mm -hmm. it's going to really uh it'd be dangerous so mm -hmm. that's why we have the safety racks here all right and then we want to put this mm -hmm. at a height to where I, if I show you, if you see here, or the the bar, mm -hmm. you want to be able to like once you finish mm -hmm. with the bench, you, you want to be able to kind of put it back on. Or so you want the bar low enough to be able to put it back mm -hmm. on. Because if it's too high, you won't be able to put it back. So or that's why we want to put that there. Um, so once we have everything in place, mm -hmm. what you do is I'm gonna lay on your back, mm -hmm. and then. You're gonna have your arm, mm -hmm. your your hands mm -hmm. a little bit wider than shoulder width. Wider. So shoulder width is like kind of here, right? Um, but we want it a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of like see the little like ring mm -hmm. on the bar, mm -hmm. like this right here. Mm -hmm. You want to put your hands kind of like here, right. Right, around this area, mm -hmm. and then you want to keep your back stable, mm -hmm. your foot on the ground, mm -hmm. right? Like don't try to arch your back. Oh, Powerlifters okay. like to do this um, to gain more momentum, but just for the sake of Focusing on inroad and fatigue of the mm -hmm. motor units, mm -hmm. we're just gonna keep the back right. um, normal. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press up, mm -hmm. right? And as you see, my my arms mm -hmm. are directly below. I mean, my shoulders are directly below my arms. Mm -hmm. You see, my arms are just directly above. Mm -hmm. So I'm keep this straight, and then you want to keep the back mm -hmm. retracted, pinch the pinch the back, mm -hmm. and slowly lower down to okay. the chest. Right. And what you're gonna do is press back up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be using your triceps and shoulder and chest here. Mm -hmm. And as you see, I'm not like over here mm -hmm. where I'm like the bar is falling on my head, or right. my face. Okay. And I'm not too far here where it's like falling on my stomach. Okay. You okay. want to make sure that the bar is just Middle above your chest, chest. right? And you right. want to keep the um, the hands mm -hmm. above the shoulders, mm -hmm. just above it. And you just come down slowly and try to do it. Right. Yeah. So I want you to try doing that mm -hmm. um, and I'll correct any forms they may have. Okay. So make sure you keep your lower back mm -hmm. on the chair. Okay. And then you keep, remember the, remember the ring here? Mm -hmm. you, put it, you put your elbow, your arm just past mm -hmm. shoulder, shoulder width. There you go. And then I lift the bar and slowly lower it. Okay. Yeah, and make sure your wrist is constantly straight. You don't want to be bending your wrist forward or back. You want to just keep it just straight enough to where you can hold the bar with the palm of your hands. Yeah. Slowly. Chest. All right, push. There you go. Slowly lower down. How, do, how does that feel? Oh, it's good, but it's a little bit tough for me. Well, what's tough about it? I mean... Okay, let's put it up. All right. All right. 
Yeah, it's a little heavy. <laughs> we were, but I can feel my muscle, chest muscle, or bicep, or chest. Yeah, it's good for me. Okay, cool. Right. Um, let's add like um maybe just another, like maybe just ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Just add ten pounds and see how you feel. Right. You want to make sure that the bar mm -hmm. is so same again mm -hmm. make sure your wrist the wrist is also important because you don't want your wrist to be like yeah. all hang back and forth so make sure the wrist is stable just below it from here mm -hmm. and then you push both simultaneously okay and just come back down like that. yeah okay. that. Okay, now you can set the weight back up. Alright, there you go. How, how that one feel? Oh, it's a little it's, bit too heavy to go to the failure. Um, oh, no, no, no. I can do it more. You can do more than yeah. this? I see. Cool. And like, do you, do you have like any questions regarding like just the mechanics of the bench? Oh, no, no. Yeah. I see. So I'm just going to explain mm -hmm. the force length relationship. Mm -hmm. um, Curve when it comes to muscles. So mm -hmm. basically, depending on the range of motion, mm -hmm. the muscles produces different force. All right. So I'm gonna explain this real quick. So, for example, uh -huh. when you are in this range of motion mm -hmm. on the top, mm -hmm. or uh, let's start right here. When you're right here, uh -huh. you're in a position called the active insufficiency. Mm -hmm. This is when the actin myosin filaments are jumbled up together, mm -hmm. and they basically have excessive overlap. Mm -hmm. And this is where the muscle produces a little bit less mm -hmm. force mm -hmm. than up here. Right. So the muscle produces the most force mm -hmm. in the midpoint of contraction, so oh. around here. Right. So yeah. if you hold the weight as hard as you can here, this okay. is where you're the strongest. Okay. And this is because the actin myosin filaments oh. fully overlap uh -huh. and are able to produce the most amount of force because there's cross bridging. Right. Now, when you come up here, mm -hmm. this is called passive insufficiency. This is when the biceps, I mean, this is where the triceps, right? Mm -hmm. Specifically, yeah. the triceps mm -hmm. are in the fully lengthened position. Yeah. This is when the actin myosin filaments are fully lengthened, oh. right? And just to give a reverse example, according to the point, the muscle can be involved. Yeah. yeah. So this is why when you do a bench, you gotta be careful because the weight is the same, you know, throughout the entire range of motion. Mm -hmm. But the way the amount of muscle, I mean, the amount of force your muscles can produce is different. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say for a bicep, yeah. this right here will be passive insufficiency. Mm -hmm. This will be midpoint of contraction. This will be oh, active so insufficiency. Or, uh, so it's the opposite. So, so with the bench, the active insufficiency mm -hmm. was like right here, mm -hmm. midpoint, mm -hmm. passive insufficiency. Mm -hmm. All right. And, the, and active myosin filaments are basically the filaments of muscle mm -hmm. that cross bridge in order to form muscle contraction. Mm -hmm. Basically, it converts mechanical energy mm -hmm. into, I mean, it converts chemical energy into mm -hmm. mechanical energy, which basically work. All right. Basically, how you produce movement with your muscles. Mm -hmm. So. That's why when you do a bench, sometimes you won't you won't reach true failure mm -hmm. um, because, like I said, when you're going from midpoint contraction mm -hmm. to here, mm -hmm. your muscles are getting weaker. Yeah, because of the actin myosin filaments mm -hmm. are now going to have lengthened. All right. Right. They're not fully cross bridging anymore, mm -hmm. and they're lengthening. All right. So according to the force length relationship curve, mm -hmm. the muscle force decreases as you go from here from here to here uh, and also from here to here all right. so you're the strongest here mm -hmm. so that's why I typically like to use Nautilus machines mm -hmm. because um, you can sit right here all right. yeah that's typically why mm -hmm. I like to use Nautilus machines mm -hmm. because Nautilus machines basi have basically adhere mm -hmm. to the biomechanics of the contraction so basically when you're in that midpoint contraction, mm -hmm. the Nautilus machine makes the weight heavier. Mm -hmm. And when you go from here to here, mm -hmm. the, the, the machine makes the, the load lighter uh, as the muscle moves to the range of motion. Right. So it adjusts for that 
uh, of the way of the, the biomechanics of how our muscles contract. Mm -hmm. Right, so you have to be careful when you bench because you sometimes you won't hit true failure. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing you might have to um, keep in mind mm -hmm. when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, do you have any questions about this? Oh uh, no, because it seemed like you did you were good form mm -hmm. um, and everything was safe. Mm -hmm. You had the safety racks yeah, set, safe. and uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. it's good. And typically, when you're sitting, you want the this spider here to be like shoulder width mm -hmm. when you're. Mm -hmm. Sitting, oh. shoulder width. I mean, not, I mean shoulder level. See how this is shoulder level. Mm -hmm. So that yeah, this is like a good like mm -hmm. ballpark. Mm -hmm. and you just have like maybe you have the, the safety rack waist. about your, just above your waist, oh, right. right? Just to make sure that you're safe. Oh. So yeah, I didn't think of it. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. So that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, um, that, that's it for the bench. All right.